Hi, and welcome to Maverick Render. We're going to start with a series of tutorials to show how to use Maverick in a simple but efficient way. The first thing we're going to show is the Start button, which is right at the top of the main toolbar. If we press it, a small window will open. This window will also open every time we open Maverick Render. Here we can see different sections, which we will explain one by one. If we go to the Welcome section, we will find the samples provided by Maverick. These samples are there so you can play around and learn how to use the app. The ring, the car, the electric device, and the kitchen appliance. We can also see the version that we have installed and if it's up to date. At the bottom of the window, we can see some tips and tricks to use Maverick Render. And next to that, you will find some useful links to our website. Now, if we go to Preset section, we can find different preset lightings that you can use. We have exterior lightings, interior lightings, artificial lights, and physical sky. In the recent section, you will find the last files you've been working with. Finally, in the additional section, we have scenes that we have downloaded from the resources section on the website. Let's see how to do that. Go back to the Welcome section, then click on Resources. The Resources section from the website will now open. Go to the section called Scenes, where you'll find different scenes ready to download. There's a radio, a chess game, and another ring. Let's go back to the app and click the Start button once again. Let's open the car scene and let's learn how to navigate through Maverick Render. Let's wait until it loads the scene. As you can see, the scene has opened in the central area, which we call IPR. This is where we will see the render interactively. You should also know that I have a GeForce 1080 Ti. That way you can see how smoothly the app runs with this type of cards. To rotate the camera, we press Alt on our keyboard, and with the left mouse button, we rotate the camera. Just like that. It's very easy. The render is completely interactive. To pan the image, click the middle mouse button and move it however you want. We use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out of the image. Very fluent and easy to use. Another two buttons you should be familiar with while navigating on Maverick Render are Zoom Selection and Zoom Extend. For example, let's click on the tire. We click on Zoom Selection, and it automatically zooms into the selected area. It's very useful. Now to go back to the normal view, we click on Zoom Extension. Very easy. You should also get used to using our shortcuts. Zoom Selection is F key and zoom extension is Z key. For example, if we select the tire once more and click F key, it automatically zooms into the selected area. If we now click Z key, we go back to the view we had before. As you can see, the outline of the selected item is sometimes disturbing. Let's learn how to get rid of it for the time being. Let's click on Settings, then Render Outline, and finally choose the option that says Mute Selection. Now when we select the item, we won't see the outline of it until we choose to change it back in the Settings section. We've now reached the end of this tutorial. I hope you found it useful, and I'll see you in the next one.